If you guys want any cheap MSP, PSN codes or cheap game codes, make sure you go over to G2A.com and use discount code B87 to get 3% off your total order. Hi guys and welcome to another squad builder by myself Bates in 87. We are continuing on the trend of the price range beta squads. These are the squads where I don't want anyone to lose any coins on and to get the players at rock bottom value. And even if you can't sell the players, they're not going to cost you that much in the long run. But these teams are very strong, very overpowered, even for the ratings of some of their players. So if you guys can try and hit over 4,000 likes on this squad builder, that would be absolutely awesome. Subscribe if you are not and make sure you do go and check out all the previous squad builders we have done on the uh, player ranges I think we've done three this is the third one now and if you guys have some player ranges where you would like to uh, aim for me to build let me know in the comment section below this one is valued between 29,000 coins and 115,000 being the maximum. It is going to cost you nowhere near the maximum and it's more than likely going to cost you around um, around 30k. I would say 30k for this player uh, if not a little bit more because these players are just overpowered beasts and don't even cost that much. So, if the, without that said guys, go and drop a subscription, drop a like rating and let's get on and build the team. In the goalkeeper position, we have not other than uh, Petr Cech from Chelsea, the out of favour goalkeeper because Courtois is there and it's also cost a little bit of an effect on his ultimate team price as well. Uh, his price range himself is valued between 150 coins and 9,000 9, coins as well which is pretty ridiculous for the style of goalkeeper he is and quite high rated as well. In the centre back position on the left hand side we've got a French centre back and uh, he also plays in the BPL if I can find him, where is he? French centre back, 82 rated with 82 pace and it is Koscielny. He gets a strong link with the 77 rated centre back who uh, is freshly transferred to Arsenal and also upgraded as well. So this, I think this is the second time we've actually used an upgraded centre back and it is Gabriel the Brazilian. He gets a link with the right back which is none other than Walker obviously most people's favourite right back in the BPL for the sweat squads and in the left back position we do reuse another player who I used earlier on this week and it is Gail Cliche. So that's the defence. Just looking at the defence, guys, you've got 85 pace on Cliche, 82 Koscielny, 76 on Gabriel, but high defending and high physical, and uh, 91 pace on Kyle Walker as well. So if you're needing these players to get up in the left back and right back position, you've got enough decent pace in the back to cover them leagues. In the centre midfield position, we have Gustavo again, who is someone we are actually reusing from the other squad builder, but Gustavo is a player I absolutely love. And that is one reason we put Gustavo in there, and that is to get the strong link and get enough links to the cam, which is 83 rated upgraded. I think it's 83 rated. Yeah, 83 rated Kevin De Bruyne. A lot of people do consider him a lot like how Draxler was last year, but with the broken shots this year, uh, Draxler is very, very good. Good, quite fast as well um, and I'm looking forward to this guy's team in the season card because I can see him 100% getting one. In the left midfield position we go with another left midfielder freshly transferred as well and it is Schürrle from Wolfsburg getting the strong link with Kevin De Bruyne so that's enough links to the left hand side. In the right midfield position we go with someone who you may or may not use. A lot of people like to side with Quadrado now. Um, but it's Willian. Willian's out of favour. Obviously bringing his price down as well. 89 pace, 87 dribbling and 4 star skill moves. In the camp position we go with 82 rated... Um, this guy, I loved in FIFA 13, and it is Diego. Now, the reason we got Diego in the team, guys, is to add the person who likes to put his cock in your opponent's ass. I don't know if that's maybe give you a semi-hard on. That's not my aim. But it's none other than a very, very sweaty, sweaty striker who possibly could be... Well, he's definitely in it. If you saw his tweet on Twitter the other day, guys, he is definitely on his way out of Fenerbahce. And it is... M&EK, uh, 80 rated striker, 88 pace, 3 star skill moves, 80 shooting and 83 physical. Very strong, very fast and very, very dangerous. And a lot of people do become annoyed at playing against him. But guys, M&EK is more than likely going to be out of his way out of Fenerbahce at the end of the season because of the racism, obviously, in Turkey. Let me know where you think he might go. I think Tottenham may be one of them places, but who knows? He might end up uh, like uh, another foreign team. But if you guys do follow transfer rumours, let me know in the comments section below who you think M and EK is going to be going to. So drop a like, rate, and subscribe if you're not. And let's go and look at the highlights we did get with this team. 
So Diego is a player I've always loved to play with on Ultimate Team, even though he has, he, well, he has decent stats actually, 75 pace, 84 passing, 85 dribbling, 64 physical, 73 shooting and 4 star, 4 star, he's a very strong and nippy little player to have outside the box, especially with the decent long shots he does have. With m &EK up front, you don't even need to speak about him, you can see him uh, in the highlights himself, just doing stupid stupid solo runs and getting straight through the defense with kevin de bruyne as well very similar to diego uh, but i do enjoy him as well four star skill moves and five star weak foot Schurler and uh, william in the right midfield and left uh, left midfield position they're very good at going forward but it's mainly the cams i was using in this team and even this formation maybe you guys don't enjoy this formation let me know in the comment section below if you don't enjoy the four five one with two cams we also have Luis Gustavo, who I like to use as the midfield general. Likes to stay back, which is pretty good. 74 pace, 83 defending, and 82 physical. And with the defence, there's no explanation needed on these. They are really, really fast. They are very strong, and it's very rare your opponents will get any goals on you. Uh, because if they do get through your defence, you've got Petr Cech in net, who is pretty, pretty ridiculous anyway, and goes for really cheap because of the likes of Courtois being in the team now. So, guys, if you have enjoyed this style of squad builder let me know in the comment section below some more price range squad builds we can do in the future obviously i like to build cheap i like to build sweaty i like to build teams which win but if you want to see something which is skillful and maybe me not doing any skill moves let me know in the comment section below because i like to um i like to do squads which you guys enjoy and can go and win games with because that's been the whole base of my channel so if you have enjoyed the video guys try and hit over four thousand likes subscribe if you are not subscribed for more squad builders and other videos and remember the Team of the Season prediction videos have started to come out as well. So you can see the likes of Kevin De Bruyne, what I've decided to give him. Um, who else did I put in there for me? I think we've gone with Koscielny as well uh, in the BPL. I think we've done three so far and we've got some more to come before Team of the Season actually drops in a few weeks' time. So guys, yeah, like I said, if you uh, enjoyed the video, drop a like rate and subscribe if you haven't. And we're going to be back tomorrow with another video for you guys to enjoy uh, as well as the morning upload and the evening. So make sure you do check back on the channel, P periodically now Shirla actually I need to point out Shirla was a pretty pretty annoying player to play with I don't know what it was about him he just didn't feel his useful useless uh, his usual self and he caused me a lot of trouble but that was just me I think so until then bye bye